Breakfast Weekly, a show about past week's comings and goings in Path of Exile. Hello fellow exiles, today we will cover heist news and have a report from our special correspondent about a recent discovery. Firstly, let's talk about all the patches. What happened, you might wonder? Well, how heist mechanic worked initially was quite contradictory to what we've come to expect from an ARPG, so there was a significant backlash to this aspect of the league. This aspect being guards generating alert level upon death. Now this was scrapped very fast due to said backlash, but that made the league mechanic seem stale as it turned into nothing but a loot piñata. This in turn made more people upset, so to balance things out, next patch equalized the alert gain from chest to compensate for the lost alert from killing guards. And if you cannot guess, yes, that made people upset too. Be it as it may, fine-tuning the league mechanic will take some time it seems. On that note, let's talk about bugs. We've all seen them, maybe one flew in your mouth at one time. This league style has been riddled with creepy crawlies, and Grinding Gear Games has had to put significant effort in catching as many as they could in the short amount of time since league start. For example, Monday's patch saw a variety of bug fixes to the new and rework skills as well as many instance crashes for heists. Wednesday's patch on the other hand brought mainly rebalance to the heist mechanic including rogue perks and gear. There were more bug fixes for the heist mechanic, but even with all of these fixes, Gran heists still seem hit or miss for some players. Honorable mention goes to Soul Mantle, which was rendered practically useless due to curse changes and has since been fixed but did leave a sour taste in the mouths of those who wanted to build around it for leak start. On a brighter note, the recipe for elemental penetration support was shared on Reddit by the benevolent Giu the Tedster. His reasoning for this generous move was, and I quote here, not being a jerk. So there you have it, Reclassians, what a mantra to live by. The recipe is a simple one, all you need is a level 20 fire, cold and lightning penetration support gems and a replica bitter dream. Vendoring said combination of items will yield you an elemental penetration support. In other news, we have our special correspondent reporting on an unprecedented discovery. I will let him tell you more. Over to you, Ophelian. Thank you, Marian. I'm here with a team of enthusiasts and volunteers who have been tracking the movements of famed Val historian and master explorer Alva Valai. For days and weeks, they followed her as she scoured the wilderness in search of the fabled temple of Atzawatl. Reports suggest that Alva's methods of discovering the temple have included time travel incursions into the past where she gently and carefully influenced the construction of the temple to provide clues to its present-day whereabouts. The enthusiasts I spoke with feel that Alva's methods were a bit unorthodox, but in the end they yielded the ultimate prize. The Temple of Atsowatl, once thought to be a myth, has finally been found by Alva Valai. At last! And no wonder it was lost, it was in the middle of the jungle. Marion, back to you! Thank you, Ophelian, for that fascinating report. And with this story, that's all for this week's events. This was Mar, and this was Breaklast Weekly.